I took sick. I don't know what happened. I just, they found me on the floor in the bit in the bathroom. I'd been passed out for about three hours. Many people thrive and lead healthy, active lives on dialysis. However, dialysis may not be for everyone. In some cases, dialysis may not improve quality of life significantly, often because of the severity of other existing health problems. Some people may choose not to start dialysis, or, if already on dialysis, may decide they do not wish to continue the treatment. At 82, Pearl Seawack was diagnosed with chronic kidney disease. At that time, she decided not to have dialysis if and when her kidneys fail. I was real sick. I was in the hospital a whole month with that. And then it took me a long time to get my strength back. My kidneys went right down to 6%. They wanted to put me on dialysis, but that's one thing my family did know and my doctor, that I said, no dialysis. If I get that far gone, I'll take my chances. And at my age, I can't see any sense in it. And even the specialist he agrees with me. He says, it might give you another year, you know, or so, but it wouldn't be a quality of life that, that I would want. There is an option known as conservative care that offers patients physical comfort and emotional support while allowing kidney disease to run its natural course. My kidneys are only uh, working at 16% right now. They take my blood every month. There's no treatment for it that I know of except the diet. I'm on medicine for high blood pressure. Of course, blood pressure's, high blood pressure is bad for the kidney. And some days, you know, I feel very good, and other days, everybody has their ups and downs, I think, especially at my age. Anyone who chooses to stop dialysis or to not start dialysis must understand the consequences. When your kidneys fail, you will eventually die. But your care team will help you manage pain and other symptoms, and you will be made as comfortable as possible in the process. Before considering the no dialysis option, you should discuss it carefully with your renal care team and your loved ones. Well, after I come back from the hospital, after being so sick and uh, realizing that I could have died at that time, and it would have been hard on the kids. They didn't know what I, what I wanted, if I wanted a mass. They didn't know what my wishes were as far as a funeral or anything. So now I'm making arrangements. I went out last Tuesday and bought a plot in the Catholic cemetery. During the last stages of your disease, you will be under palliative care, where the emphasis is on comfort and pain management rather than on treatment for the disease. Choosing conservative care does not need to be permanent. As long as you are well enough, you can decide to start dialysis. Ultimately, the choice to start or stop treatment is yours. Whatever your treatment choice, it is important to consider making an advance care plan. I guess you fill it out and then you give your doctor a copy. I do not want support with medical interventions such as feeding tube and all that or kidney dialysis. If any of these interventions have been started, I want them stopped to allow a natural death to occur. Advanced care planning allows you to plan ahead and communicate your care choices, including who will speak for you when you cannot speak for yourself. Work with your health care team and your family to make a plan so that those who care for you will know what to do for you under any circumstances. I think everybody should plan ahead.